Oh boy, it's B o'clock. If I can. Anyways, we we already saw this. Huh. Anyways, this is a. Uh, this is a. Uh, yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk to the left this time. Yeah. Let's go. Hey, Germ, how you doing? Yeah. That's harsh. I do not screw around. I try not to break my sticks, but I think my sticks might be broken. Uh, why would you do that? There's a whole living area under their bed. Why would you curl up on top of their bed? Also, I'm assuming this is a shared bed. There seems to be plenty of space in the room for it to have just not been on... And it honestly looks like it was just a normal bed they put on top of some some shelves. <laughs> oh, that wasn't funny until I thought about it. Anyways. Oh. She's at May's, I guess. Or May is at her own house. Heesh. <laughs> well. Hmm. I sure hope May is all right. I don't see anyone out there. We still have no idea who this fella is. Sheesh. You saw a man outside? It's not illegal for a man to be outside. <laughs> These are facts. What else? Want some brownies? And lasagna. Um, yeah. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Angus is a great guy. We like Angus. <laughs> yeah, but Angus kind of is more good than a lot of the cast. Maybe. Let's check outside again. Why not? Well, what now? What's so bad about the situation? I'm not sure about what's going on. Okay, Germ, you weren't even there. Shut up, Germ. The quartet isn't complete, and you are not the uh, thematically the prop. Well, he has the proper thematic coloration, but not totally. I was about to say orange, but Greg is orange. Anyways, not the short, darkly colored main character we wanted. There's no way to say this properly, is there? I'm getting cancelled for this episode, aren't I? Great. Can I even do anything? <laughs> what? What was that? Someone standing outside the door. What? Yeesh. I can't hear anything over the video games. <clears throat> Did the power just go out or something? What in the heck? Dear God. Am I alright? Is May fine? Dang, bro. You good, May? <laughs> I think, uh... I'm alive at least, that's nice. Looks like I ran the heck off a cliff. Sheesh. I absolutely do not remember that from last episode. <laughs> oh boy. Where in the heck am I? Walking right up to the pearly gates. I don't know, maybe the pearly gates to the snack falcon. Still seems as if we're in the mortal plane of existence. So that's good. But there aren't any... Uh, sheesh, houses, despite the mailboxes. And this isn't so podunk nowhere of a town that the mailboxes are far enough from the houses that you wouldn't be able to see the house from the mailbox and vice versa. I don't know if anywhere is really that podunk nowhere. Some rural areas, the 
main road is far enough from the house, you've got yourself a 50 foot driveway. Ooh boy, May, you maybe don't want to lay down right there. Whew. Perhaps not the greatest decision. Yeesh. I must say, it's good we found the murder cult, but maybe not so great that the murder cult also found us. I'm alive! And in a house of the Lord. These are good times. Is May dead? Am I dead? Hold up. Maybe someone would like to say something about May. They just put me on the freaking pews? I don't even get a casket or anything? I guess my parents might. Well, hell, they had enough money to send me to college. I guess that's where all the money meant. Can't even afford a casket for me to lie in now. <laughs> He's always been a menace. I called the police on her more than once. Hope she wakes up and learns a lesson. That's all I got to say. I guess they don't. I'm not actually dead. That's good. Uh, I'm pretty sure I was only a daughter to the one house on the block in which I lived. But speak, speak for yourself. Yeah, that's pretty great. Yeah. I want to know what exactly happened to we too. She's. Oh, cool. That's a good thing that they uh, they told my parents. And we were out in a night in the woods, yeah? Someone was out there hunting illegally, and they got shot, and May fell. Oh, sheesh. All it takes is landing the wrong way one time. Ooh. I don't know about hunting illegally. I would imagine that uh, hunting certain animals in this town is frowned upon, seeing as... Well, anyway... Whoa! Whoa, it's the freaking guy from the start of the game. What's happened to this one? Watch, it's gonna be him. It's always the first person you meet. You here to clean up? Ah, uh, supposed to be fixing a door. Always fixing a door. Sheesh. What? Janitor. Ghostly presence. Oh, 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 oh. What did I say? What? What is dead? Everything. Sheesh. And here I thought we were going to have to listen to the entire poem from the beginning of the game again. That's nice. I don't actually have to do that. <laughs> Whoa, I'm alive and in bed, which means that I'm in a better condition than simply being alive. Oh, okay. I'm still in a poor condition, though. That's great. Alrighty then. Well, Aunt Molly is typically in this direction if she's here. So maybe let's go this direction. Perhaps we'll run into the, the cops. Mayhaps. This is wacky. Oh, this is actually pretty funny. Wow. They didn't notice that I got there. Oh my god. Oh, okay. It is me. Alright, nice. Oh my shit, it's May. It is, it is in fact May, yeah. You thought it was some guy stalking the house or whatever. <laughs> It wouldn't be the first time you've thrown up in front of friends. I feel weird about that. How about the couch? Shut up, Germ! Get out of get out of our friggin' apartment, Germ. Get out of here, Germ. Sheesh. Yep. That is exactly what happened. I wandered from my house all the way here. And that's just the way the news goes. I sure hope I'm alright too, it would suck being dead. 
being dead kind of sucks. Yeah. I gotta get a dead person on so I can ask them about it one time. Can't wait to see the the the, the Joe Rogan Experience episode with a, a dead person. <laughs> you know, a buddy of mine died one time. How, how's that like? Uh huh. That's that's good old that's good old Joe interviewing a dead guy. That's my that's my impression of Joe Rogan interviewing a dead person. Wouldn't wouldn't that wouldn't that be uh wouldn't wouldn't uh wouldn't anyways It's not him. Turn off the light. And I guess hide here until we die. <laughs> Well, hey, I'm close. I'm further along than the rest of you are, apparently. Oh, look who's awake. I'm awake? And the pizza guy's here? It really... Good times. And germs eating my freaking pizza. Oh, boy. <laughs> Your aunt and some guy fished you out of the woods. Sheesh. Yeah, I didn't even have a, a wacky out-of-body dream experience that time, so that's nice. Yep. I should probably finish my own slice of pizza if I can keep it down, which I don't think I can. I time travel, I don't know. I'm in and out of consciousness. I would like to eat, but it's probably not going to happen unless you want me to uneat all over your apartment. <laughs> Pretty sure B is here, yeah. Alright. Have a nice nap on this cold kitchen floor. Probably linoleum, though. The fact that it's brown makes me think it's carpeted. It's much more funny if it's carpeted kitchen. Give us a call if you need to come home. I gotta say, this uh, this went downhill real dang fast. I mean, I was expecting a murder cult, but I wasn't expecting all this crap. You know, I'd, I'd puke, but there isn't anything in there, so I'd puke my actual guts out. Dry heaving sucks. I will tell you that much from experience. Dry heaving sucks. I, like, never get sick, but the one time I do get sick, I'm just gonna keel over. Because it'll be so darn bad, it'll kill me instantly. <laughs> but I think I'll just stick to never being sick instead. Anyways, right back where we started, uh, this episode at least, talking to, talking to Greg and Germ, everybody's favorite people. I don't know if we're getting out of this. I sure dang hope so, but then again, with a number of shadows there, half the town is involved in some wacky murder cult. At least half everyone we've seen. And we don't see anyone else. Eesh. Shred the Nara 3. Wow. <laughs> I played it yesterday. At home. Thanks, Jerem. Very helpful. Where is B? Is B in here? There she is. Let's talk to B. That should make me feel maybe a little bit better. Hey, B, put me in bed, please. I can't get all the way up there on my own. Yeah, apartments typically have Wi-Fi. That's nice. Um, well, I don't know if that's included in everything. It's pro it might just be college apartments, because then they can fleece you for a bunch of crap. Because they're not just giving you a living space, they're giving you a furnished living space with um, Wi-Fi, a smart TV, and some wacky cable package that nobody's going to use. That's fun, huh? At least they also pay for a fair amount of the water and electricity mm, per person. I can't wait for one of my roommates this coming semester to just friggin' pour the Pacific Ocean out through the faucet so that I have to pay more in water bills. Oh well. Hopefully that just doesn't happen and we'll get there when we get there, I guess. Can we all hit the sack? Dang straight. I'm gonna sleep on the couch again. 
This is how it happens. Hey kids, can we do lights out now? <laughs> <laughs> see you all tomorrow. Yeah, see you, germ. Yeah, none of this has anything to do with you. You should probably just leave. You can be our man on the outside. See a germ. We like germ, sort of. Maybe. Anyways. He oh. I was about to say something, but... Well, I guess I've said my name on the channel. My name's Cullen. Nobody says Cullen right. And sure as heck, nobody spells it right. So it's funny to see my name in a video game. Anyways. Even if it's a last name. It's my first name. How about that? Take that. <laughs> I'm gonna be murked in four years. Anyways. We weren't talking then. I thought it'd be weird to bring it up now. So I was playing this video game and you were like dating ghosts or something. And I was really into it. I played it like 24-7 until this one afternoon and suddenly something broke. It's just like pixels. Characters on screen felt like I knew them. They weren't people anymore. They were just shapes. Their lines were just things someone had written. They never existed. They never had feelings and they never would exist either. It felt so sad. I just lost these real people in this whole thing we had of just me alone. Like that realization that dumped out of the screen into real life, went outside, the tree out front, and I looked at it every day. It's like a friend outside the window, and now it was just a tree. Hmm. Well, I'm sure glad I don't think about this crap, because I probably consume too much media uh, for me to just stop empathizing with the plights of fictional characters, I suppose. That would suck. It's like this moving bulk of stuff. And I cried. Because nothing was there for me anymore. It's all just stuff. Stuff and things. That's sheesh. It's just shapes. Just lines someone wrote. Like nothing in there. I was so scared and angry and I just beat the crap out of it. Sheesh. Red shapes all over the grass. After it happened, they made me go to therapy with Dr. Hank. He made me start a journal. Yeah, he kind of just said it would be able to get my thoughts down. Kind of. It's been nice. It's all shapes. I was doing fine at college for a while, but I couldn't make friends. I was just afraid of being outside and being around people alone. And there was this statue of, like, the founder or something. Really crappy statue, just rusty metal, and it was all these shapes. It was just pointing down at me. And I was scared. I didn't leave my dorm room. I didn't eat. I had down cough syrup just to sleep all the time. Sheesh. Hmm. <laughs> That sucks, man. It sounds like you're suffering from some mysterious stuff. And, uh, maybe we can find you some help for it. Dr. Hank. Extraordinaire. Medical extraordinaire, actually. Specifically. Like there are such things as depression and anxiety and uh, face blindness, sociopathy. I felt so safe here and everything made sense for a few days and then all this and... Yeesh. I sure dang hope we'll figure this out because it would sure dang suck if we didn't. Yeah, let's get some sleep. And that's going to be the end for now. That's going to be it. Till next time, though. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to beat your face in with a baseball bat. Goodbye! That was the wrong button.
Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.